Two free food programs for low-income seniors. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to share with you the details of two free food programs specifically focused on seniors age 60 and older. And these programs are available across the entire country. That's what I want to share with you here in the video and how you can grab some benefits from these programs. Let's get right into it. Really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side every single day to help you out in any way that I possibly can, as well as point out programs just like this and anything else popping up right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. Also, right down below the video, as long as you're hitting that subscribe button, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to share this video with your friends, family, social media, so they can also take advantage of this information and, of course, these programs that are out there for those seniors age 60 and older. All right, thanks so much. Please subscribe subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about these two programs that are available across the entire country that'll help you out with a little bit of extra food right now because I think we can all probably recognize things are very, very expensive, including food. So if this could help you out a little bit, obviously I want to share the details with you so you can also take advantage of this. Now, to be real, there are a lot of programs all across the country, okay? Just because I'm talking about two of them right here in the video, there are a lot more than this, okay? I could always come back and make more dedicated videos talking about this, but these are two of the programs and there are many, many more that are out there available and you never know. Maybe when you're doing some research on this or maybe when you're looking this up in your local area, maybe you'll find some more in yours in your space as well. But again, I can always make videos about that. If you want me to, just let me know down below in the comment section. I just want to do what I can to help you out here in the community. All right, so let's talk about the details of these. And like I said, both of these programs are available to low-income seniors aged 60 and older, okay? Now, here's the thing. The qualification as in income thresholds are different for both of these, but they're both identified as low income senior food assistance programs, okay? All right, so first off, let's talk through the details and I'll point out the key uh, details about both of these programs that you need to know within them, okay? So the first one is Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Appro uh, Program, okay? Let me say that again. Honestly, it's kind of hard to say. Let me say it again, okay? <laughs> Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program, okay? So basically what this does, it offers vouchers or coupons to low-income seniors age 60 and older who have a income of 185% of the federal poverty line or less, okay? 185% or less of the federal poverty line is where they determine your eligibility for this. So here's what they do. They give out vouchers and or coupons that you can use at your local farmer's markets and roadside stands where you can go out and get fresh produce that is locally grown. Let's be real, this time of year, pretty nice stuff, right? It's pretty awesome, right? If you've ever gone to a farmer's market this time of year, there's a lot of really good stuff out there that is being locally grown and there's a lot of it as well, right? So super cool program that's out there, especially this time of year. In the winter, probably doesn't help out a whole lot, but this time of year certainly is a really fun thing. So the way that you can look this one up is by doing a simple search in your local area. I would simply type in maybe your state or possibly even your local area if you're located near a big, big city. Simply just go online and type in your state, followed up by Senior Farmers Market Nutrition a Program or uh, the acronym is SF, uh, what is it? SF Seniors Farmer, uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure it out as I go here. SFMNP. I know, kind of a long one there, right? So anyway, you can look that up uh, in your local area. To, like I said, type in your state. Make sure to type that in for sure. You can do a simple internet search and it should find you the local area as far as how you can enroll in this and uh, what you can do to start getting some of these coupon or vouchers, okay? So what it sounds like is you get this allocation, this voucher, this coupon, and you can use it at your local area uh, food, um, farmer's markets and like I said, roadside stands. But here's what I would recommend doing. Before you walk around and you know you pick up a bunch of different things or you go to the different vendors, make sure you just ask them. Say, hey, do you accept this or you know whatever it is? They're probably very familiar with it. But just to save everybody some time, just in case you go around and pick up a bunch of things and then say, hey, I want to get these and I'm going to use this voucher. And they might say, um, you know, I might not accept that or something. They should accept it. I'm just simply saying, just save everybody some time, you know, yourself mostly, right? Um, you know, things like that. So 
You may want to ask about it. They should be very, very familiar with it. Shouldn't be a big deal at all, but just want to throw that out there really quickly. So again, check that one out if you're interested in doing so. Pretty awesome stuff. Again, age 60 and older, and again, 185% or less than the federal poverty line. Now, here's the thing. Let me point this out really quickly. I did not run the math on this before I uh, started this video, but I can tell you this much. Right now, the federal poverty line on a monthly basis is a little bit over $1,200. But remember, this one is 185% uh, or less of the federal poverty line. So they're talking like, I'm just going to say this much, probably about $2,000 or less of income a month is probably what this comes down to. Okay. It's not exact. I'm just kind of rounding it there, but that's about what it is. Okay. So if your income is below $2,000 a month, you're probably good to go on this one. Okay. So just look it up if you're interested in doing so. If not, that's totally fine too. All of these programs are not for everybody. I get that. That's fine. But again, if this is going to help out a couple people or even, you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand, that's awesome. That'd be really, really cool. And just want to do what I can to help those people here in the community. All right, next, let's talk about the other one here. And I'll tell you the details about this one as well. The parameters are a little bit different, but also kind of the same as far as eligibility. This one is a uh, commodity supplemental food program. Okay. So CSFP is the acronym for this one. Okay. Commodity supplemental food program. Okay. Now this one also has an eligibility age of 60 and older seniors age 60 and older. However, the income thresholds on this one is actually a little bit lower. Okay. It's 130% of the federal poverty line or less. Okay. Let me quickly run the math on that. It's about 1500 ish dollars a month, okay? About uh, 15, yeah, it's about 1560 ish or so a month, okay? So if your income is about $1,550 or less a month, you'd be eligible for this. If your income is over that, of course, we can run the, the calculations on that, but it's about that range. The about the $1,550 or less a month is what you'd be, um, your income could be up to in order to be eligible for this program, okay? So again, if you want to look up this one, Basically what this one does is it sends out uh, like a box of pre uh, prepared foods for you. So like fruits, vegetables, honey, uh, there's some protein in there. Not really sure what that could be if it's animal based or if it's like plant based proteins. I'm not really sure it did not specify, uh, but that would be in there as well. Cheese is on there. So again, another really cool thing. This goes out on a monthly basis as well. So it's not a weekly box. It's a monthly box where you would get this and it has a whole bunch of different stuff in there. And again, you know, if it's some things in there you might want, it'd be pretty awesome, right? So fruits, vegetables, cheese, proteins, uh, honey, stuff like that. Juices, by the way, juices are in there as well. So anyway, check that one out if you're interested in doing so. Again, highly focused on seniors age 60 and older. And again, income being 130% or less than the federal poverty line, about $1,550 a month, $1,550 a month. Your income below that, you'd probably be good to go on this. So what I would recommend on this one as well, do the same thing. Do a simple internet search and just type in CSFP or Commodity Supplemental Food Program uh, and then your state as, as well or your local area as in the biggest city near you and you should be able to find something there as far as how to enroll and things like this. Now, I want to point this out really quickly. You might be thinking, really? We have to look this up on our own? Here's the problem with this. A lot of these programs are federally funded but state administered, okay? So that's why it makes it a little bit difficult because the eligibility as in the process of applying in a state like Florida or Texas or California or Washington or Nebraska or New York or New Jersey, it literally doesn't matter. I'm just giving a bunch of states off the top of my head here, okay? The eligibility as far as enrolling and taking advantage of these programs, each individual state is probably going to be a little bit different. So that's why I'm simply saying just do an internet search and you should be able to find it for your local area. So I wish there was a one size fits all, but it's not really that easy. A lot of these programs are the same way, federally funded, state administered, which honestly makes it a little bit hard to come up with a video and say, here, just go to this website because it's not the same website for every single person. There's 50 plus different websites out there, one individual website for every single state. Okay. You kind of see what I'm saying? Kind of makes it a little bit hard to kind of come together on a video like this and give you the details. But the best thing you could do is just type in your area, your state, something like that. And then uh, type in the names of those programs that I gave you or simply the acronym. I would probably type in the name of the program just because it'd be more specific. And then you should be able to find how you can apply for these. And it should not be that much of a process. Okay. You may need to verify your income just because they want to make sure that the people that really need it are taking advantage of it and are getting those benefits. But other than that, the application process should not be that difficult. Okay. So 
So I want to point these out for you really fast. Now, again, let me throw out really fast here one uh, program that everybody is aware of. But everything, every time that I talk about this program, inevitably, I see down below in the comment section, some people say, I didn't even know I was eligible. I should apply. Or I applied and I got benefits. It's the SNAP program, okay? Now, obviously, everybody knows about this one. It's the program, it's the biggest program across the entire country. 43 million beneficiaries across the entire United States take advantage of SNAP benefits, otherwise known as Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or food stamps. If you have not applied yet and you're low income, if you're fixed income, you might want to apply. You're probably eligible, okay? I'm just saying that much. The best thing you could do would be apply. You could look it up online or you could simply call the 1-800 number, which is 1-800-221-5689, one 800 221 Five six eight nine. One more time now. One eight hundred two two one five six eight nine is the one eight hundred number. It's an automated system. It'll ask you which state you're located in. You just tell them your state, and then it'll directly to your local office where you can check that out. Okay. So again, I know that's a basic one. I know a lot of people are already signed up for it, but I can't believe how many times I see comments down below saying I never knew I was eligible for this. I just signed up. I got benefits. So you never know. You know, seriously, if you can get some benefits, it might be worth it, right? So anyway, hope this one helps you out. Again, I just want to do what I can to help those of you here in the community, bringing you the details of what's going on out there. And again, any other details that are popping up out of Congress, the administration, bills, packages, proposals, anything out there, of course, I want to bring it to your attention right away. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below. Also, do your friends, family, uh, social media a favor, share this video with them so they can also get advantage and take advantage of these programs and get this valuable information. Just help some people out, right? If, if everybody else can take advantage of this too, it'd be beneficial for everybody, right? Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. If you want me to come back and talk about other dedicated programs for food assistance or free food programs, stuff like that, just let me know. I want to do what I can for you, okay? So there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of programs out there. So anyway, I'll help you out in any way that I can be. Just let me know down below in the comment section, and I can always come back and elaborate. Anyway, enjoy your day. Hope this one helps you. Again, take advantage of these programs. Look them up in your local area, and then uh, just go through the application process. Anyway, enjoy. Hope this helps you. Enjoy your day. Have a good one. Take care, and catch you again later in the